The hills near Rhinebeck, New York, echo to a unique type of vocal counterpoint. This sound poetry is the creation of Charles Stein, poet and teacher, and his colleague, poet George Quasha. Quasha, with his artist wife Susan, publishes avant-garde poetry through their Station Hill Press. For over a decade, the two poets have experimented with the basic elements of speech, creating a new form of abstract poetry. To prepare for performances of their works, the poets continually practice ancient Chinese martial arts. The exercises, called Tai Chi, are designed to improve concentration. A mock battle with wooden swords is another form of Tai Chi. For the poets, such martial arts hone the instinctive cooperation they must have to create their sound poetry. Creating a new sound vocabulary calls for a new form of notation. Surrounding the meanings of the words are many expressive possibilities in addition to the meanings of the words. I use vowels for vowels, consonants for consonants, and I try to make the way the letters look correspond to the way I feel about the sounds. For instance, eh, 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 opt, urgut, norgut, act, I, well, probably, I, I, d, sorat, und, obot, und, opt, und, orapugut, n, kost, torapugut, und, opt, und, orapug, orapugut, n, topa orastic, rostapugut, orapa, opt, n, n. The internal impulse within the sound arises within the body and travels outward to manifest itself in the automatic movement of the hand, like this. Specific sound units provide the basis of their improvised performance. The blending of their two voices creates a third, unpredictable voice. <laughs> Believe in it. 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 Believe in